If nobody comes to wake me up, I won't wake up. Apathy makes us accept everything. Living surrounded by preferences kills empathy. I'm here in Weil in Denmark to study uh, the phenomenon of empathy. Empathy sounds a very uh, positive feeling to be empathic, to want to feel for someone else and to want to help very often. Empathy provokes the need of helping is for me a very positive feeling. In our days, empathy can be punished. Let's say for example here, we see some people, they are dying soon because they have fallen off the boat and somebody take a picture of them. This person might be guilty to film instead of helping them. Now, the situation has changed. Now we are punishing people that try to help them. For example, this lady, Captain Pierre Klemp, is risking now 20 years jail because she has helped refugees, human beings that need help. Now she's threat to be punished. So actually helping people not to die has become a crime. Excuse me, I'm testing about empathy. I don't know. Do, do you have empathy? No. I'm uh, working about empathy. You know what is empathy? No, but... If you feel for somebody else? No, we cannot. Wait, we have no time, no. Uh, you speak English? No, Deutsch. Uh, Deutsch? Deutsch. Empathy. Empathy? Yeah. What is empathy for you? What has you asked empathy? You have to. Can I say something? Okay. You know what is empathy? Mm -hmm. Do you have empathy? Yes. For what? Many things. For what? Many things. Many things. The last things you were empathic was what? I don't remember. Maybe something in the television, I don't know. Ah, a film or...? Yes. So you see a film and then you cry? Yes. You, you, woo, you suffer for the person in the film? Yes. So, for example, if the guy loses his wife... Yes. Then you, uh, you, you, feel you, you feel for him? Yes. But can you film empathy for an actor? Because it's not real. Yes. You can have. Yeah. Let's say if, if you see these things uh, in Yemen, what do you think? Do you see it or you don't see it? Or you don't see it. Do you feel some suffering? Do you suffer when you see that? Do you? A little, little bit. A little bit. How, how much? Thank you much. You have empathy for uh, everybody? No, not, not everybody. But Mostly for what? If it's in Vila, or you have also empathy for what's happened in Syria or in Copenhagen, or you yeah. know, how far? This is, you know, how far is the empathy? Around the world. For everything? No, not for everything. Wh when not did you for cry? Uh, terrorism or stuff like that? No. No. When, when did you cry last time? When did you feel it a lot? Oh, I, I cried uh, last week, I think. Yeah? I saw a documentary on Netflix, Our yeah. World, Our Planet. Yeah. And it was an episode uh, about, um, oh, how do you say that? Uh, whale rosa. Whale ross. I, I don't know. I yeah? don't know the term Whales. in English. Whales? Yeah, it was the... Ah, yeah. as a moss, you're the one with yeah. big teeth. Yeah. Uh, they're losing space. Yeah. So uh, they climb uh, 80 meters, and when they are going down, they fall and they die. So the animal uh, yeah. whales die, yeah. Yeah. and then you and cry a lot. I cried, I cried, I cried, I cried. Yeah, it's so sad that the environment that we are creating is, yeah, How? it's devastating for the animals. How long time did you cry? <coughs> oh. Long. An hour, I think. An hour? Yeah. I, I don't have animals here, I'm sorry. 
Which one? Uh, I forgot animals. Which one do you have more empathy for? There is no animals. I'm sorry. I forgot. I thought it was sad about Notre Dame. Yes. Because it was. <laughs> but what about the animals? What about the environment? What about the ice melting everywhere? Yes. What about that? So the problem is that when we sh have empathy for that, then the empathy doesn't go to the animals. Yeah, the environment. It, not even the animals, but the whole planet. Yes, so this is sad. Yeah, of course it's sad. I think it's sad it's gone, but not so sad. No. I, I didn't cry. No. Like I do for the animals. Yeah, okay. For example, if you look here, what makes you more empathetic? If you look some of those things, what did you notice? It's very, everything is from the last three months. You can have empathy for these kids mm -hmm. not going to school. Mm -hmm. So which one is the uh, most touching you for you? It is some strong pictures. I mean, I call it, did you see that? Did you really see that? Because this is uh, what you can do is to sing twice because mm -hmm. we get all this, uh, you know, we get all this picture, for example, this, uh, we see that, but, but, but then we see that as well. Mm, yeah. Yeah, so it, all yeah. these things, they float, you know, we see everything and this Yemen picture, the, the, the thing is that it's not, it's not a story about uh, Yemen, uh, it's a story about Facebook, yeah. uh, so the context also ma can make mm -hmm. us sleep. Mm. So this is what I said, did you really see what's going on? Yeah, yeah. I think, I think this one. Yeah, but it's difficult because I also, all oh, and they in the water and everything, what they've been through, I think it's so... Oh, I could cry. <laughs> Do you have empathy? Do you have empathy for other people? Uh, yeah, I, of course I have. Which kind of people you have empathy for? Oh... In the lowest social. Yes. Yes. So you course. feel for poorest people? Uh, of, of course I do. I'm general manager in uh, Scandic Weile. Scandic Weile is a uh, hotel. Yes. And yes. We have a lot of uh, practicants. You know. Yes. They don't have a job today, but yes. we learn them to work and so on. Uh, if you have a job, yeah, you 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 not get sick and so on. You know. Yeah. Um, you have a network. Yeah. Yeah. I think the people that don't have a work today is much alone. Yeah. yeah. So you feel sorry for them? Yes, I do. Of course I do. And then uh, with your job, you try to solve this problem exactly. by training them. Yeah. Uh, but uh, what I try, this is why I have this, to find out if empathy, how far it goes, you know? <laughs> you know, for example, I put, I put some picture here, you know, uh, to see, you know, for example, uh, um, this, this is very far from mm -hmm. Yemen. Uh, this is closer because it's next yeah. to Weile. Uh, mm -hmm. Do we feel the same if people are far? Do you think no, about this Yemen people, for example? Know. Not for me. No. I'm, I'm think I'm the closest. Yes. The closer, you more you feel. Yes. Of course. And you, you feel a lot uh, every day, or? Yes. Every day we are thinking about it. Yeah. Um, but if you look far away from us, yes. I only see it if I traveled or if I get the news. Yes. Yes. Excuse me. Um, I'm trying to find out if people in Weile have empathy. You know what is empathy? Yes, of course. If you feel so for somebody else. Of course. Uh, do you have empathy for what? For Yourself. But you have a uh, recent example of empathy you had? Uh, when uh, somebody's hurt and uh, you uh, try to uh, feel like uh, they feel. Is something you can train? It comes because you are born like that. Yes. So you, you think we are born empathic? Yes, of course. All uh, people. All people? Yes. But how do you do if you are very empathic? Then the whole day you can be empathic all I the am, time. I work with a nurse. Uh, like a nurse? Yes. yes. Ah. It's uh, like uh, my job to be empathic. Empathic. Yes. So you cannot rest? Uh, if you are empathic all the time, then, then it's very heavy. No. I don't uh, feel like that. No, it gives you... More energy. It gives you more energy. Of course.